the thing is that before, like, I couldn't really go and buy it because I was, like, in ninth grade. I didn't have any fucking money or anything. Okay. So it all was, you know, on my mom, like, if she were to give me the money to buy it or not. So and she said no. She, I was, of, of course, quite, like, depressed. And I was, like, asking God, like, like, why can't I wear it? You know, I'm trying to please you, but why are they against me? Or not, aren't they, you know, supposed to be Muslim? And those kind of thoughts. And then I was, like, maybe it's something wrong with me, like, you know what I mean? I started to kind of doubt myself and doubt that this was like, was it part of the religion or was it something that, you know, was extreme? Or, you know, I started to doubt myself. I started to yeah. doubt the religion. I started to be so confused because I thought they were like, aren't they Muslim? Aren't they supposed to, you know, encourage this kind of, you know, stuff? But I don't know. Alhamdulillah. So what make, what um, helped you to kind of, um, what may, helped you to get reassured that, you know, it, it wasn't like, you know, something extreme or whatever, like what made you feel confident to actually do it? Apart from the sister that you saw, obviously, was there anything else? Yeah, like before I even saw the sister during the summer, I started to watch a lot of uh, videos on Nakata sisters. Um, you know, just like how do you eat with it and people, you know, like, doing like vlogs and whatnot and mm -hmm. there was one special specific video because i always you know my family you know the ones who were especially like, against it they were always telling me like you can't even live a normal life now you can't do a lot of stuff because you're like covered and i saw one video i don't know like the name of the channel but she was quite talking like in arabic in the text in english and she said like oh my god sister like don't fear you know, people and the judgment, you can still live a normal life and whatnot. And she showed me like her, like, you know, swimming and, you know, um, um, like jumping from a plane and doing all these kind of like activities. And I was like, wow, how you, still live? you know, and that made me think like, it's true. Like just a piece of, it's just a piece of cloth on your face. I guess yeah. the meaning is big, but it's really just a piece of cloth on your face. Like it doesn't mean that you can't live your normal life. And that, and th that with other videos, like people, you know, obviously how to eat with it and, you know, speak normally. And I was thinking, okay, this is just normal people. Like I will be the same person with like a piece of fluff on my face. So, you know, I, it kind of reassured me that this wasn't something that will take away my freedom or anything. That it was just, it was just something that would, if, if anything, enhance my freedom. Because now I see what real freedom is, you know, to only, to only be, um, you know, obedient to Allah and whatnot.